Now, if you're coming from a language like Perl or VBScript, you might be looking for all the functions that let you manipulate strings. And in PowerShell, uh, you won't find them. Now, that's because strings, and let's just create a, a string with something in it. These are actually objects, and if you pipe them to get member, you can see that we've got methods and a property length that do a lot of the manipulation you're probably used to with other languages. We've got a, a replace, to lower, to upper. So the way to get to those is to take whatever your string is, follow it by a period indicating that you want to get to one of these members, and then just run the method. Even if the method does not accept arguments, it still has to have that opening and closing parentheses. Uh, let me show you what happens if you don't. If you forget the parentheses, you'll get output that says, hey, that's a method. And you're like, yeah, I know. To make it run it, you have to give it those parentheses. So that produced a new copy of the string that was an uppercase. It did not affect the original string. So these methods all produce something new. And you can trim white space. You can convert to lowercase. You can get a substring out of the middle. You can split a delimited string into an array. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. And it's all accessible through these methods.